Hi boys and girls, here it's Philip again and uh, today we are back in the garden we are goin going to work on a, on a project uh, using uh, some of the techniques we have used uh, in the iOS eyes that uh, we have done uh, uh, some time ago but now we're going to apply those techniques to a flower so I'm back in the garden looking for nice nat natural challenges see nice forms and I was looking for making a flower a marguerite for example I've done this one uh, where it is marguerite I done something like that, but that doesn't that wasn't wasn't really convincing. It's too flat. I put some shadows on it, but uh, that wasn't really that. It's a bit too much, too wide. If you compare to the Marguerite, I fit the window, but you go to the center, it's, it's just really interesting I've tried to emulate that kind of texture here in the marguerite but that's not really easy some other flowers I make the drop the drop uh, uh, video cast with this one that's an amazing flower we've got in our garden. It's just thousands of small flowers around a, a central trunk. It's just... <laughs> that's so... Look at that. All those flowers are perfect. And there are hundreds of them. And this one. And I was really caught by this one. I I love the color, I love, love the texture. So I take another picture of that one. It is this one here. And the next texture in the middle. And those nerves, not nerves, I don't know what, those lines here. I really like it. So, I take the challenge to do that one. Uh, first, I like to take the thing apart to see how it is done because if I want to do that all by hand making a dry drawing all those things that's going to be pretty pretty heavy so I load I load my GIMP uh, I'm going to go down here I load my GIMP uh, with this image and I decide to try to have a better way to uh, to make that flower so that's one way to do that you can do that in a lot of other ways like in GIMP there's thousands of ways to go to, to a goal but here that's my way so first I go to selection in the selection uh, option, I go to expand from center, fixed ratio to 1 1, and I take a selection coming from the center to the outside. Now I go to uh, uh, image, crop, crop to selection, OK, and now I'm going to I'm gonna apply a, fil a filter that we have used in the in the eyes thing that's in a dist distort and uh, polar coordinate and here I go I uncheck two polar so my flow is gonna be set flat and here I will begin to have 
a way to do that, to emulate that amazing flower. Look at that. Now we just have like tri some triangle, some triangle, and a center part here. We're going to select some layers, some some of the petal. I don't know what you you say that in French is petal. <laughs> some of those uh, part of the flower aye, aye. petal I say petal you, you translate that for you in the front and some other one in the shadow in the back get about three layers of them one, two, three, four layers of them every time cover one by another and more they go in the back more they get uh, dark on the shadow and here we see that line like a tube uh, a tubing go from the top from the, from the base with is darker to the top here and we see that the lengths are, are all different so gonna try to emulate that make a new image um, new gonna go to 1800 2800 ok so that's our new image going to build a bit our layer format here. So this one I want to have a, a alpha channel select all control X so it's transparent. Now I'm going to add a layer I'm going to call it petal <laughs> I don't know how to, to say that. Petal. And transparent. OK. And another one, I call it shadow. OK, shadow under the petal. In petal now, gonna use the same uh, select tool but now we gonna uh, take out the expand from center and the aspect ratio fixed and we gonna take make a rectangle here just to see about No, it's it's a bit smaller. Okay. Now I'm gonna find an orange with with uh, quite like this one, like the darker one. That's one of the colors, and for the, the other one, I think I'm gonna, gonna need something clear. Of course, I can use uh, the, the the color picker, but I want to do it that from scratch. Excuse me, but I'm a purist. I try to do the thing from scratch, and that's a, a good exercise for my eyes. I think I could go darker. And here we need some more white. Okay. 
now. We're going to fill our selection with that color and with the other color we're going to That's strange. I cannot uh, make my my gim tool uh, toolbox smaller. But okay, I pick the other color with X, and I'm gonna make some dots. Here, you're gonna go darker, and clearer, okay. Now I'm gonna use a smooth the the smudge tool I need to uh, to work on the on the on the weight here and having a bigger brush Control. We don't understand what I'm doing. Just adding something a bit. dirty here and now I gonna use my perspective tool and here I gonna put together the two dots and press enter. If you go look like at that from far away you see it's they are already together. And here comes the magic. You see my tubing? I've got that aspect that I wanted to have. If you compare that with the flower, I've got that tubing effect that I wanted to have. And now, Control C and Control V, M to have the move tool and we're going to move our petal. Taking care that we don't cut the the point. Ctrl V. The ending and we get to be a bit random.
OK. Enter. No, that's not enter. That's what I need to do. Toolbox. Go to the layers. I've got to anchor it. OK. Here I've got it. So now we're going to Control A, copy all, uh, selection all, Control C to copy all. We go to the shadow, Control V to pass it. Thank you. So I've got it here. Now, I'm going to select the alpha channel, Control E to invert the selection, and we're going to fill that selection in black. OK. Control A to uh, select all, and now we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. That's hard to see in that small. How about a handout? Anyway, we're going to play a lot with uh, opacity. OK. Get our flower and shadows. And go to filter. Distort, polar coordinate. You go one. This one we go two polar. Okay. It looks like I've got to do that on both layers. The linking don't apply when you move or rotate. That's doing on both together. But with this filter, that's not applied on both together. Distort, polar coordinate. OK. Now, now they are linked. We're going to make, we have, we had four layers of petals. So we're going to make four copy, uh, no, excuse me, four copy, copying the layer of that and four copy of the shadow. Having one shadow, one layer of petals, one shadow, one layer of petals, and one shadow, one layer of petals. OK, and the background. Now we're going to link two by two. So now we're going to link the first one stay like it is with the rotate tool. We're going to excuse me sir, a second. We're going to work. We're going to select that one and rotate. Try to be a bit random. Rotating. Anchor it. Okay. Now we're gonna deselect the unlink this one, select this one and go around with another step. And I come here and rotate. And for the last layer of petals with the shadow associated with her, selecting, and we're going to fill the last hole. See what you can do to fill the holes. Here it looks good. Enter. 
no, it's not doing that. Rotate. Okay. So now we have got our we have built our distance here. As it looks like that the shadow is a bit too much. I compare with the original. Pull Z the original to see the flower. Now we've got a quite a big distance between the petals here also. So now we're gonna make a rough center for the beginning with a circle selection. Gonna expand from the center. Gonna fill it with a dirty brown. But you know what? I'm gonna make a new layer. On top of everything. Call it center. a bit more black. Okay. Okay, here we are. Can move it a bit. I will move it to arrow is it's easier. Okay, here we are. Now, if you see as the original flower, we've got some highlight shadows with the light coming from here. So that uh, that effect of of uh, center, the center go inside. So for that. Take our dodge tool, look at the midtown, it's okay. Exposure at 50, we are okay. Scale. Can I go up with a bracket? Control A. Going on the white layer, like okay. go layer by layer. Here, it's what we want. I'm gonna take my pen, having a bigger. the light coming from the top here. So I jump a bit ahead because uh, it's going to be really too long. And uh, we're going to just finish some um, some of the dodging uh, job now. Uh, with a shift and clicking on the eyes, we just isolate uh, one of the layer because it's really too heavy for my machine to work with all those transparency. We need to. Uh, well I forgot to put some some shadow also here in uh, in the side that is. Uh, in the back, where the sun is not, uh, that's too much.
just let, let you see what, what what I'm doing. Space, and you can move your uh, you can pan uh, and move. So that's here. So I, I, I'm going to make one and jump ahead so we can pass through no, pass through all the um, the steps without need to wait hours to see me just dodging and burning some things. That's really uh, your taste. I've done that. Yeah, that's okay. Coming back, shift, click, etc. So I'm back in town with my flower. We got some volume, some form, some reflection begin to take life. Now uh, we're going to work on the center. So if we see uh, the center here, we've got some different uh, texture. We've got in the center something like a violet with a dark background. After that we got a, f a first a first uh, step, a first layer of uh, dark yellow and some, some more white wa yellow with some dots in the center. I don't know. I think we don't gonna do something so so in so much de details, but we can we're gonna try to do something in the same way. Is our flower? So again, for to take out the load of my computer, I'm going to just keep the center. First we can make some new layers. Center 2 and Center 3. Okay, on the background. We're going to use a violet like that, and uh, the other one. like that. <coughs> the pen tool. And uh, use some brush dynamics, a uh, random opacity, size and color. Just to be sure that I'm not using a strange where it is. Yeah, that's the color that we're gonna use uh, for our randomness. And of course, uh, we're going to go to the brush and increase a lot the spacing. I think it's too big. And more spacing. And also I put some jitter so it's more random. Some 
Something like that. Cover it with some black, some color a bit more Yep, that's it. Now we go in the second layer, center 2, and here, here we're going to choose a dark uh, but you're going to take out the random color and keep the opacity. I think we add light with the color. It's more dirty yellow. Take a look. It's more dirty yellow. I think I can perhaps make a brush out of that. can be a good exercise. So have a, having a brush with this background gonna select just that. Okay. Perhaps uh, give it some um, some blue. Okay. Now make a small point, a bit more neat in the center. Okay, Control C, and now we go to the first layer, to, to the second layer, excuse me, I'm a bit dis disconcentrated here. And in my pen, I'm gonna use this one, which just created. Okay, Control A. Select all, and now um, I just perhaps just take out. No, oh, that's okay. Think that more or less our background here. And on the last layer, we're gonna need to make some special thing. It's not really gonna be easy. Layer, first layer. Take a brighter yellow 
And you can make a wash also. Now I've got to change my wash my uh, my wash. Can I use something like like that? Okay, selecting. This time we got a transparent background because I did it on, uh, on the third layer. Control C. Select the brush. Get to work and on the spacing. The first round with a small one. And going bigger. And here you can put some take out the random random opacity because it's really a bit toxic. And the random size you're gonna go down. So we are more well we, we got uh, s the size are more is the same uh, same one. Okay, now we're gonna put some dots, black dots, X. Changing changing the brush but for something more like that. No. Less opacity and smaller. Something like that. Okay, now again our tool dodge and burn. We're gonna dodge as a this part here and this inner part. Dodging here, burning here. Here we in the shadow. Here also. And the jing. The clear part. And make the same thing on the second layer.
dodging the, uh, the up part and this part. Okay, I think we are more or less done. Done. It's look good. Now, if you look both pictures together, I think we can uh, tweak a bit uh, the color. I'm gonna flatten this part, merge visible layer, merge, and now. Merging the rest, but just don't merging the background. Merge visible, visible layer, merge on OK. Anyway, I'm in, in gonna use my my curve tool to equalize a bit my colors. It's flat here. Okay. More and less. Now, coming back with my center. And we just need now a background. I will find a background. So I just take a, a background from another image that I've done earlier. It in the white, put it in the white place. And I think we are done. That's all for today, folk. So that's my last show for this year. I'm gonna need to go to the south of Chile for 10 days, and after that is Christmas. And uh, I've got a lot of things to do before uh, New Year. So I'm gonna see you again, I think, in January. I hope being, being able to make a, to make a show bef uh, before the 15th of January. But you stick with uh, with Rolf for the next show, and I really have enjoyed working on those things uh, in graphics from scratch with you this year. I'm gonna find some new idea. So if you got ideas. Just uh, post them in the in the idea for new show in the forum, and uh, I look at it and try to emulate and uh, and invent some new stuff with you. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Photocastnetwork.com, your photography resource in the potosphere. Photocastnetwork.com.